Next up, I'm so extra for this. <laughs> this one is so, I feel like this takes the cake, but it's an essential. Welcome to my channel, my name is Takiya G. For those of you guys who are new, make sure you subscribe and if you're returning, welcome back you guys. As you can see, I am back on my schedule because guess what today is? It is Wednesday. I promise that I will upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So I'm back on my schedule and today is also December 1st. So you guys, welcome to December 1st. And if you've been paying attention to my community board, as I told you guys, you have new blessings and you have new beginnings. Make sure you take advantage of this month and make the last one count because we're almost 2021. Y'all, I'm so excited. As you can tell, I'm extremely excited. And I hope you guys enjoyed my new intro. I tried to be a little festive this year. And I also try to be festive with my outfit, but I'm doing a lot of rambling. So let's get to it. I'm gonna be doing a what's in my bag video featuring an auto purse. Um, I don't know the name of this purse, but just know I love it and it's auto y'all know it wouldn't have been right if I didn't do an auto purse everybody knows my love for auto so yeah I'll try to like find this purse and link it below if you want to purchase it I think I got this from Marshall's or something when I was in Daytona but it's a pretty green bag with the alligator print and it has the gold metal it is so pretty I love her my baby and I've only worn her like three times but it was a gorgeous bag decided to get it but without further ado I think I just said that but anyways bro without further ado let's jump straight into the video what's in my bag and what I think other women should have in their bag as well so first let's start with my phone my phone is definitely always in my bag as you guys can see I have on my burger case I'll go ahead and link it somewhere inside, but I'm using the burger case right now with the Takiya G. So thing number one, my phone. I need my phone. That's how I keep up with things. I also have a pack of safety pins in my bag. You just never know when you gotta pin something. So I keep safety pins in my bag at all times. I have wet wipes. I mean wet ones. <laughs> Gotta make sure my hands are clean, especially when I go out and eat. I like to make sure I have wet wipes with me. Boy, this blazer dress is serving a lot of cleavage. I like it though. I try to be really festive with my plaid. Hope you guys enjoyed this little number. <laughs> Along with the intro, it's supposed to go hand in hand. Also have a portable cute small lint roller. I gotta make sure I don't have any lint or any fuzzies on my black, so I keep my lint roller on me at all times. And as you guys know, we have the whole corona thing going on, so I have my mask, and I keep it in this little pouch. I just got this simple pouch from Chanel like a few Christmas ago. Something came inside of it, and I just decided to keep it. And of course, I keep my sparkly face mask inside. I know we just gotta keep these. So I got mine in case somebody tells me to wear it. I wear my face mask now. I also got my protein mix for whenever I need a quick pick me up snack. This has walnuts, dried mangoes, almond, cranberries, and pumpkin seeds. You guys know sometimes I just need energy or I just need a snack. I love my snacks. So I have my trail mix. And besides my trail mix, I also have my candy. So this is for church. You know, you just gotta pop some candy in while you're in church. So I got the assorted jelly beans. I make sure I have a new pack every week. This is like discreet, small, and it has a bunch of flavors inside. So I make sure I have my jelly beans and my trail mix. Trail mix for everywhere. It's just whenever I need some energy. This is my pick me up, and this is my go to sweet snack. Next, I have my ear pods. And I'm not gonna open them because they look they don't look good inside, but I have my AirPods. You got you have to have the AirPods on deck in case you need to just tune somebody out. I got my AirPods. And I also like listening to podcasts a lot, so that comes in handy for me. 
I also have some Purell Germex. Of course, I have the natural Purex. The natural, the all natural Purex. Y'all know we have to have Purex on us at all times now. Everybody should have hand sanitizer, whether you're a male or female. You should have hand sanitizer on you always. I know what I forgot. I forgot to show y'all like the compartments inside the bag. I'm sorry. So this is how it looks inside the bag. I just now took most of the stuff out. Shame on me, but that's the inside of the bag. And it was packed. Of course, I'm doing this so backwards. Y'all forgive me. I should have showed you inside the bag first. Anyways, moving on. The next thing I keep inside of my bag is my Kindle. I gotta make sure I have my Kindle at all times because sometimes instead of scrolling on Instagram, I just prefer to read a book. So I gotta keep this on me. I have like, I think I have like 40 books now on here. And I'm a part of like a book club online so it like keeps track of everything. So I feel really cool with my Kindle. Gotta make sure I got some good reads on deck. So if you don't have a Kindle, I encourage you to pick one up. Next up, I have my pink feminine pouch. This has all of my feminine products inside of it. Um, my mom actually gave this to me. She got it from Ipsy in one of her subscription boxes. And she know I love pink. So this is my cute pink feminine bag. With my feminine stuff inside. Gotcha. She opens up really big too. She opens up big. Next up, I do have my card holder. I got this from Victoria's Secret. Just a simple card holder. I love her nice and simple and it fits in all of my bags i do switch my bags every time i switch an outfit but today i wore i just happened to wear this bag so i decided to do my video with this bag and you guys know how much i love all of them next up i'm so extra for this <laughs> this one is so i feel like this takes the cake but it's an essential y'all i always have to keep a pack of red nails on me at all times. Let me time. tell you guys why I have a pack of red nails in my bag at all times. Well, in the event that my nail breaks or chips, I'm able to just pop one of these on until I get to the nail salon. And as y'all can see, it's the, it's the exact shade of red. It matches exactly what I have at the moment. And I had these for months. In case one of my nails breaks or chips or whatever happens, I can just pop this on and go straight to the nail salon. When I tell you guys I hate when my nails are like chipped or just out of place, it irks my nerves. Like right now, I need a filling, but that's fine. At least it's not chipped. And of course, y'all know I don't use the, the accent nails. So yeah, y'all, I gotta keep these on deck. I have the short classic squares right now, and if I had the um, coffins, then I'll have the coffin red nails in my purse. But gotta keep these on deck. Of course, these aren't press-ons. These I got these done in the nail salon, but I have to keep these in my bag just in case something happens. I have some red nails. <laughs> Anyways, I felt so extra for that. That was a moment of extreme extraness. Extreme extraness. I don't even think that's a thing, but I felt like that was a bit extreme. But on to the next item, you guys. I also have my compact mirror. I got this mirror from Chanel as a Christmas gift one year. It's really cute. It comes with a dust bag to keep your mirror in. And of course, this is how the mirror looks. I think it's still up there, too. You get it from the website, but everything that i have in this video i will also link it below i think this mirror is like one of the best things i love my little mirror it's so simple but it's like so cute i love my little mirror so ladies if you don't have one i encourage you to get one i just love this mirror it's simple and it's just cute y'all i also keep a tight to go stick in my bag i feel like this is an essential because when things spill on you, you know, you gotta make sure you get it up real fast or your clothes will stain. 
I forgot this last week and it sucked. Um, I was at church and I spilled coffee all over my dress. Y'all excuse me, the angle might have switched just a little bit. My camera died on me. That's one thing I really do not like about this camera. The battery life sucks, so I just had to order some more batteries. Anyways, back to what I was saying. I left off at the tight to go, so make sure you guys pick up your tight to go. You can't be caught slipping with stains all over your clothes. But anyways, on to the next thing. I feel like I just have so much stuff in this bag. But I do feel like everything is just essential. But the next thing I have is an atomizer. This is just basically perfume. I think this has, let's see. This is Bondi Centipedes and I also mixed it with Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. It smells so good you guys. Ooh. This is an essential. I think uh, everyone should have an atomizer. I think I'm saying it wrong. But I think everyone should have an atomizer whether you're male or female. You know sometimes in public you just want to spray on some more perfume so I make sure I keep this and you can refill it yourself. I think you can get these from Amazon. I think I got this in a gift set, a perfume gift set so yeah. I think everybody should have an atomizer. I love my atomizer. It smells so good. <laughs> I promise y'all I'm almost done. On to the next thing. Next, I got my red pens. I gotta keep some red pens on me. <laughs> I literally only carry these two pens in like every single purse, and the red matches the um the same red that's on my nails. I actually got these pens on Amazon. It came in a set. Um, I think it came with about 25 pens, but out of out of the 25, I only use these two. Y'all know what's crazy? If someone was to ask me what's your favorite color, I probably would not say red. I would say pink. But I think it's safe to say I love some red. Next, I have my healing oil. I gotta keep this on me at all times. You just never know when you'll need this. And I got this from church. Gotta keep my healing oil on deck, y'all. I also keep Altoids on me. You know regular mints for one year one you know for when I'm done eating whatever I just want to pop a mint in my mouth I keep all toys I prefer to have mints instead of gum so yeah I keep mints I prefer mints over gum especially for when I'm in public or when I'm having a conversation with someone I prefer to just have mints so I keep all toys Next up is my Vaseline and Q-tips. So I just have a travel case of the Q-tips and regular Vaseline. Well, this isn't regular. This is the cocoa butter Vaseline. I use this on my lips or, you know, if I need it on my elbows or something. If I'm ashy, I will use my Vaseline. So this is a major kit, especially since it's fall. Make sure you have your Vaseline and your Q-tips because it's disgusting if you keep on digging your nasty fingers inside of your Vaseline. So I just use the Q-tips to dig out my Vaseline and put it on my lips. And if I had to like put it anywhere else, I'll of course put it on my hand sanitizer and then take it out. But that's rare because I have lotion. I also have these two, my lip gloss and my Dr. Bronner's chapstick. When I tell you guys I swear by Dr. Bronner's products, I literally use everything from him. He's the um... I use the blue peppermint soap. This is the best lip balm besides Burt's Bees. I usually have this or Burt's Bees. And I got this Sugar Fix lip gloss. I got it from my mom. She got it in an Ipsy packet and she decided to give it to me. I also have a hand cream by Bath and Body Works. I have the Black Cherry Merlot. I love the scent besides I love the scent besides Champagne Toast. They did not have any more Champagne Toast left, so I just had to settle on the Black Cherry Merlot. And it smells so good. Um, before this, I was using my Carolina Herrera ha hand lotion. But I found that that hand lotion didn't work for me. So I decided to switch to this. And let me tell you guys, the Bath & Body Works um, hand lotion, I don't know what they do, but this lotion keeps my hands so, so, so soft. I love it. So you do want to make sure you do have your regular Kleenex to make sure you clean it. And last but not least, I have the, the strap for this bag to make it a crossbody, but of course I've never opened this. I'm not really into the crossbody bags, unless it's like the flat bags, but yeah, I had no interest in making this into a crossbody. So yeah. 
Let's see how it looks with the crossbody. I should have done an outfit of the day so you guys could see exactly what I wore this purse with, but I had on a really cute outfit. Okay, this is it as a crossbody. I'm not into it as a crossbody. I do not like cr crossbodies like this at all. So I'll go ahead and leave the strap in the bag because maybe one day, just maybe, maybe, maybe one day I'll be wearing this purse and I'll decide that I don't want to hold it in my hand and I don't want to turn it into a crossbody. Just maybe. But I hate crossbodies that look like this. Okay, so you guys, that was it. She is now empty. That was it for this what's in my bag. Um, I carry a lot of stuff, but I do feel like all of those things are definitely essentials, especially since it's fall and we have all this corona stuff going on. You're going to want to make sure your bag is packed with everything you need. Oh, and I forgot one thing. Another thing I do carry in my bag is my camera, but of course I'm recording on the camera so you can't see it. So you'll see it some other time. I hope you guys enjoyed my bag tour. If you're interested in purchasing anything that I pulled out of this bag, it will be linked below. I'll try to find the link to get this bag. I do not know the name of this bag at all. I didn't even see it in auto. I just got it from Marshalls and it was like the only one. But yeah, I'll try to link that below. And if I'm missing something, you guys comment below and let me know what I'm missing and also let me know what's in your bag. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video, which is Friday because I'm back on my schedule. <laughs> Bye!